Yeah, so let me go in Discord, post a picture. And what's the next SCP? Oh, God. Oh, yeah, I should probably... Oh, wait, you can kind of see the anomaly on, on screen. Never mind. Uh, for those who are watching on stream, the next one is the little triangle thing. And it's SCB-2299, which is Cephalensis-9. It's his nickname. I guess it deals with cephalopods? Anyways, you said you wanted uh, you wanted to read the next one, right? All right. Yeah. All right. I think we're all ready. It is a level four, meaning you have to be. I believe level four means you have to be uh, level four to read the entry. Yep. Yeah. Object class Peter, like everything else we're reading tonight. Classified. Special containment procedures. All cases of SCP-2299 infection are to be contained in Site 116, formerly the town of Redacted Washington. The town and all of its residents are to be confined on site, and all births and deaths are to be noted by on-set personnel. Should affected individuals make an attempt to approach Foundation personnel for any reason, they are to be turned away immediately. Personnel are not allowed to engage any affected individuals in any extended conversation. New additions are to be integrated in groups of four or more to ensure safety in the event, uh, in the event of community rejection. Oh, that sounds kind of sinister. MTF Upsilon 51, right hand, is to be dispatched in any incident of SCP-2299 and must consist of at least three separate teams alternating on active duty to maintain a perpetual state of high alert. All social media outlets and digital forms, including clear communication between users typing incoherent text, should be noted and investigated. Any significant reports of large-scale violence Atypical for the region or reporting unusual communication should be investigated as potential outbreaks. Right, this is already going to sound pretty dangerous because the red right, uh, the, the the red hand is like the main guardians for the O5 council. They have to go out. It's bad. Oh, I did not know that. <laughs> yeah, the, yeah, because uh, the the MTF that went with the the person that created chaos insurgency. Their group, their MTF now called the Red Right Hand. Oh. In in that group, so yeah, it's the Red Hand is, you know, main guardians. <laughs> so this is already getting oh. bad. <laughs> Green caution must be maintained as confirmed instances of SCP-299 are fully aware of outside observation and will take extreme measures to evade capture. If an individual is known to have been infected within a 24-hour period, they are to undergo Class A amnestic treatment as quickly as possible. Cases that have persisted untreated for more than 30 hours are to be restrained and terminated if necessary. Oh, fudge! That means if you're, uh, if you are, if you have been, uh, I forgot what that term is in English my first language infected there we go if you were infected for 30 hours or more they can't help you outside of death death is the only way they can help you That's so yeah terrible. i was right i was right <laughs> that's a very quick that's a very quick infection yep all re all remains are to be incinerated including personal effects and clothing Oh damn! That's that's 
that is dangerous. Because think of this. How hard is, is it to uh, track all your pieces of belonging? How often do people borrow things out or hand things out or throw them away? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Description SCP-2299 is a known phenomenon which is unknown phenomena which occurs seemingly at random, targeting groups of people between four and six hundred thousand in number. Over the course of 30 to 36 hours, SCP-2299 significantly alters the host mental facilities, causing damage to the hippocampus, which is the portion of the brain responsible for facial recognition and navigation, as well as formation of new memories. The also does damage to the vent ventromedial prefrontal cortex, which is responsible for processing fear, risk, as well as regulating emotions. And an overall reduction of fun in function of the frontal lobe. Oh, for those who do not know, the frontal lobe is responsible for our ability to imagine things. Basically, you know, the thinking you do in your noggin, noggin that allows you to plan things, that's where it happens. So, that's a magic, magic thing. Affected individuals typically suffer severe mental degradation and physical damage consistent with traumatic encephalophony. I need to look that word up. I, I do not feel satisfied with reading that word without knowing how to pronounce it or even what it means. Come on. Load faster. You did not tell me how to say it. Encephalopathy. 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 A disease in which func the functioning of the brain is affected by some agent or condition, such as viral infection or toxins of blood. Oh. So basically, it shows symptoms of a brain and in an infection that's causing damage to the brain. Okay, that makes sense. Encephalopathy. The most consistent symptoms inhib inhibited by the, mo by the host have been restricted blood flow to the anterior cingulate cortex, which is a portion of the brain responsible for rational decision making, empathy, and impulse control. Such a place you want damage, right? And an increase in size and blood flow to the um, Amygdala. Hmm. And the amygdala is the major processing center for emotions. Just so everyone knows that. Yeah. So that sounds fun, right? All of this sounds fun. Yeah, the most common. It's my favorite. Huh? It's my favorite uh, thing to drink. Increased blood flow to the area of the brain that that uh, your emotions are are controlled from. The area where your where your emotions made you made you, uh, when manifesting digitally, individuals display severe grammatical 
errors and incoherent text indicative of improper hand placement while typing. Prior to SEC 2299's operation, individuals have described a 30 to 40 second hand period of sensory overload during in which the individuals are said to feel momentarily panic stricken while having a very strong taste of blood or metal. Following this, SCP 2299's brain altering effects begin to take place, accompanying, accompanied by a strong odor of an ammonia or formaldehyde, lasting, for, lasting up to two days following affliction. That totally sounds friendly and nice, right? Yeah. Discovery SCP 2299 was first detected in the town of Redacted Washington, where residents reported witnessing what was described as a giant ghost octopus encompassing much of the sky for up to 10 to 15 minutes. Photographs taken by the residents show the anomaly can be indistinct, but apparently res resembling a disembodied vinyl column, which the vertebrae and extending into the tendrils. Were they in infected by a sky spine? Yes. Okay. Doppler radar did not detect anything unusual in the rate region beyond a brief spike in humidity, which had begun to dissipate when the reporting event occurred. I call bullshit on nothing happening. Then again, they didn't say nothing happened, yes, but nothing, they, they could not rough. They could not detect it, although it was recorded. So there's recordings of it. So it happened in some way. The incident itself was connected to SCP-2299 when the outbreak matching the observed events in Redacted occurred in Redacted separate cities. Oh, so it spread immediately and widely. Yep. Pre preceded by the sudden apparition of the image in the sky. Interviews with an infected individual indicate most have never witnessed the events, while those who have described it have appeared and disappeared within a fraction of a second. Thus far, only the first reported sighting of the apparition has remained longer than a fraction of a second. Methods of action. Persons infected by 2299 typically go through five discernible stages of infection. Oh, this is fun. Are you guys ready? Let's, let's hear how these people degrade uh, in, in 30 hours or more. All right, infected for six to 20 minutes. Subject begins to display symptoms such as poor motor control, trembling, sporadic instances of short-term memory loss, confabulation, which is an interpretation of functional events as real memory. So basically your brain is, is, is imagining things. Hypoxia and rare instances potentially fatal temporary, I mean, I mean, and in rare instances, potential fatal tempo, tempo, I know that word, temporal lobe epilepsy, sounds like death. Subjects are highly uncomfortable discussing their symptoms with anyone but close friends or family members. One to four hours. The subject will begin to experience spikes in blood flow to the amygdala, prompting abnormal growth in the in. I mean, prompting abnormal growth of the amygdala process, which has proven fatal in one to two percent of those infected. Fun. Further damage occurs to the anterior cingulate cortex, inducing a state of greatly exaggerated fear, anxiety, and paranoia. Subjects in this stage begin to seek out others, engaging in either like-minded discussions or arguments. Oh, fun. Infected and 
After Florida, the sound of the manufacturing wealth, adrenaline and dopamine flow is stimulated when the subject engages in a series of actions or activities, which lead to violent encounters. Other affected individuals begin to identify with identify one another via shared symptoms and begin to cooperate with one another in committing violent acts, usually directed against others who are not infected, although affected individuals have not, I mean, have been noted assaulting one another. Six to 15 hours into the infection, affected individuals taking part in larger groups will begin pushing for an escalation of violence against individuals not, in, uh, not affected by SCP-2399. Subjects at this point tend to withdraw completely from friends and family members who are not affected. Those who remain in contact tend to steer all conversations towards socioeconomic, political, and religious topics. Or more often, topics involving a supposedly hypothetical invasion by transdimensional humans. 15 to 30 hours into second or Groups consisting of infected individuals tend toward more and tend toward more coordinated and organized acts of violence, including a small acts of terrorism and ritual involving imitations of cannibalism. Oh, that's, that's okay. Groups will systematically single out uninfected individuals and subject them to either liquidation or rectification. Former being a ritualized execution, the latter an attempt to spread the condition via complete blood transfusion with several of the affected. That's very aggressive, but I, I they've already made it, it very clear they get more aggressive the, the worse it gets. 30 to 36 hours into the infection, well, further altercations with the affected individual's brain caused by SCP-2999 speak. Adrenaline and dopamine levels stabilize, allowing for complex thoughts and circulation. I mean, and calculation. At this point, the affected individuals appear to function normally within their community, and in most cases, the is indistinguishable from an unaffected individual. Observation log: an outbreak of SCP. Nine were reported in the town of blank some blank kilometers from the its reported point of origin, blank Washington. Foundation personnel moved in to contain the site within two and a half hours of the first report. Agents and Class D personnel in various disguises were dispatched to the town to engage in conversation with affected personnel in a two-hour patrol interval. At in all involved personnel were instructed not to contradict or antagonize the affected townspeople. Sorry to interrupt you, Jerry, but Seribot just banned as someone with a funny name. <laughs> Righteous Cheech. Righteous Teacher was banned for spam detected. Oh. <laughs> Righteous Teacher. I'm sorry, I couldn't stop laughing at that. That's no, that's, that's valid. <laughs> anyway, you can continue. Uh, you so get? I'm just looking up something very quick. Ah, okay. For, uh, because they have the military time stamp. Ah, gotcha. Which I know is what how people say time throughout the rest of the world, but that's not how we typically say time in the United States. So it's it's 
better to look the look it's there we go. Alright, so timestamp sixteen hundred sixteen forty. And in standard time that's four thirty PM. So this is in in the late noon hours basically. Personnel arrive on site and enter a local bar. Subjects within an engage in I mean subjects within are engaged in an excited conversation of a political nature. Remarks containing a strong misogynistic leaning with certain politicians demonstrated for being pussy whipped regardless of political party. The class are invited to participate in conversation. Camera notes several instances of spilled drinks and dropped glasses as most individuals have had their hands trembling and are blinking rapidly. Conversations briefly halted as one individual suffers an epileptic seizure and is taken to the local clinic. Someone remarks that the victim must have been an ape or an ape. What? Uh-oh, okay. 1800 hours, which in normal hours, it's, it's 6 p.m. standard time. So 1800 hours or at, at 6 p.m. standard time, personal witness, personnel witness a man or a young woman in the street. The topic appears to involve merits of grapes over saline, saline capsules. Most individuals flee from the scene while a sizable group of men arrive and take up the argument, dismantling it along with the largely social socioeconomic line. Another group consisting of largely consisting largely of older men and women begin to assault the others. All groups disband following arrival of the at 1934 which is seven, so at like 7.34, two females, 7.34 at night, two females are included in the, the class group. Few of the subjects make note of them unless directly confronted. Conversations of the street tend to take on a strong nationalistic tone, while others explicitly involve romanticizing of the Civil War against, oh, Civil War genitals? <laughs> You're laughing, but this is a dangerous essay. I don't know if that means anything. I'm just going to keep reading. I'm not looking that up. I don't think I'll get good things if I look up Civil War genitals. Personnel are approached by a man and a woman asking if they saw someone smiling too much like a shark. The affected individuals express disbelief at the negative response and dismiss the D class as blind idiots. At 2311, so at 11 o'clock, so at 11, oh, oh. At 11, 11 p.m., most of the residents are awake as police officers arrest several, several individuals near town, the town square. An angry mob is protesting and violence escalates as rocks and beer bottles are flung at the officers. Shots are fired and D-class personnel flee the scene. As they depart, they are stopped by a man armed with a shotgun who addresses the personnel including accompanying female agents, as Harold, a close friend of the subject. What? They, they, they call the whole group? Okay, you know what? They said weirder shit previously. Subject does not distinguish between personnel and invites the four Heralds over to breakfast in the morning. Personnel respectfully declines and departs without further incident. Personnel finds several, oh, at 8.08. 8.08. 8 
Uh, hey, Jerry, Bookworm got something, uh, it got some information about Civil War Genitals. <laughs> The first thing I got for civil civil war genitals is apparently there are documents they are documented by one thousand five hundred injuries to soldiers' genitals in the civil war. <laughs> so people were just shooting each other in the dick. <laughs> yeah. So at, at, <laughs> At 8.08 a.m., personnel find several houses boarded up with police officers patrolling streets near the local bar with marked frequency. Several armed men sit outside the bar apparently keeping watch within the Billards area have been, I mean, within the Billards area has been cleared out, allowing for bare-chested men and women to participate in impromptu bare-knuckle boxing matches. Many of the men and women have not left the bar since the day before. You know, at least the disease is not sexist. I think. At 10.30, police maintain a heavy presence near the bar, although the armed men appeared. Personnel enter the bar and find everyone within calm and collected, and groups of humans slowly begin to leave the bar, heading out to the back exit. Personnel exit the bar and are briefly accosted by local police. Officers release the new class after identifying them as out of counter. Personnel note the officers are highly agitated and stumbling noticeably. Oh. The officers have been infected. Up at 10.50, officers begin surrounding and enter the bar. A bomb is detonated moments later, killing many of the officers and collapsing the small building. Personnel flee the scene. At 11 o'clock, much of the male populace, along with sporadic females of the town, emerge from their homes fully armed. Oh, geez. Questioned by personnel, they state they are going home to western outskirts of the town. Many individuals have blood or dye coating their right hands in an apparently ritualistic fashion. Oh, God. 11.32, personnel station themselves on the roof of the house of a house near the outskirts of town. Subjects are witnessing hunting the female population who are apparently herded into a 500-acre region of the town. At 11.45, the observation is place and town place under quarantine. Oh, damn. I was, <laughs> I was corrected about the lack of sexism in that disease. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, hey, everyone is very best boxing. That sounds not sexist. Es so, is like, uh, now you're wrong. <laughs> yeah, it's like, now the men have gathered all their guns to literally hunt down all the women. Okay! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh. Affected individuals have proven resilient to interrogation attempts, necessitating 10 to 18 hours of uninterrupted dialogue by skilled interrogators in order to ascertain relevant information. From such interrogations has been determined that affected individuals may be faintly aware of the existence of SCP-2299 as a physical affliction, with some regarding it as a minor nuisance and others as a vital supplement. The sole consistent factor between affected individuals apparently aware of SCP-2299 has been associated it and those affected by it with the number nine. Okay, I've never seen that number the same way. A single interview log has been retained due to potentially re potential revel re due to potential revel brain. Why aren't you letting me? I said more complicated. 
word. Come on. Relevancy in discerning the nature of SCP-2299. Interviewed. Redacted Madison. Former resident of Redacted Interviewer. Dr. Anna Sabatka. So this is two women. Oh, no, never mind. Madison's a, a guy. Okay. Love skip the head by 22 minutes. Dr. Sabatka. Repeat. You're well aware of this. Cephalus. Cephalensis. Dash nine. How did you become aware of it? Pretty easy. Everyone outside is looking at the big tentacle cloud. Taking pictures? I don't care. I was just out for a smoke. Suddenly I'm getting chills and shaking, then everyone else in town starts up. Head to the clinic and it's damn near empty. The doctor says I'm fine, but I see his hands are trembling and he's struggling to write. So I start up a casual conversation long We start getting pretty friendly. Turns out we've got a lot in common. What sort of things do you have in common? Just things. Ways of thinking. That sort of thing. What about the name Cephalensis-9? Where did that come from? Are you East European? Miss Sabatica. Sabatica. Sounds Polish, I think. Oh, Jesus, he's racist. I am Pol I am of Polish descent. Yes. Weird. You don't really look too Polish. What? Are you sure your parents were pure Polish? You've got some decidedly non-European features on you. Might be a bit of misenegation mis mis in your line. The name, please, Mr. Madison. I mean, Mr. Madison. Just sounded right. It was like a weird association. Hear a word, say the first thing that pops in your head. Every time I thought about the thing, I got the words like cephalus popping in my head. Then it morphed into cephalensis. So I started calling it that and it stuck. I rather like it. And I part well. Makes it sound more refined that way. You know? Like cephalensis one through eight just weren't good enough, but cephalensis nine came out just right. You said earlier that you noticed a sharp increase in violent discussions amongst your neighbors. Am I right? Some chattering, nothing serious. Had some very enlightening discussions on Zionism with them. It was nice to have receptive of have a receptive audience for once. Too many Americans just refuse to hear the truth. I am going to comment that I'm not sure I want to know what his truth is. Look how racist he sounds. Okay, continuing reading. At what point did it escalate into violence? Do you know what truth I'm talking about, Anna? Why does such a small ethnic group wield such a disproportionate amount of political power and influence. Have you ever wondered why Zionism got so much traction in the West? Please stay focused, Mr. Madison. Took barely two hours. Guys started polishing their guns, gathering up empty beer bottles, taking spare tanks to the gas stations. Just in case, they all said with a smile. Were you doing the same? No, I don't even own a gun. Were you directly involved in that led? Um, were you directly involved in that led to the? 
rioting in front of redacted high school? I didn't hurt anyone. None of the individuals affected by Sequence this nine we've encountered have displayed any anti-Semitic tendencies. They had quite a lot to say about us uninfected, however. Are you sure you have such a receptive audience? What? You expect them to be vocal about it? Howling? Ex oh, they redacted whatever he, what he said must have sounded super racist. It's like, this has been redacted. In the streets and all? Stefan can't seem logical to Keep quiet about wanting to kill Jews, but have no problem threatening to kill anyone not like them, Jew or not. You think we all got infected by some crazy mutant virus that's turning us all into racist zombies, attacking and killing each other? What really prompted the riot? Concerned citizens worry about the state of their community. From what I've read, your community is among the best in the state. Very low crime, plenty of dis dissent, hardworking, I mean, plenty of decent, hardworking people all getting along just fine. No minor complaints, I mean, no major complaints about the mayor or the local police. No neighborly feuds escalating into to dramatic confrontations or brawls on the street. Why start now? You know what vaccines are, right? Vaccines were made to make us stronger. And the way you overcome a sickness is buying and being exposed to that sickness. Just a bit. So our immune system can take a peek and figure out just how best to handle it. It hits a, hurts for a bit, yeah. That, but in the long run, it helps us. prepares us for future battles with that illness. So we can survive. Cephalensis is like the vaccine then? Yes, it's helping us. Seeds we can't properly function, so it comes down like the hand of God giving us the push in the right direction. That's like a vaccine? Shit, sorry, it's not how vaccines work, more like a bit of an artificial selection. It gives us a quick little boost. Why is an alien influence making people kill each other a boost? I didn't say alien. Then what is it for? I already told you. Someone clearly screwed up is all. Who screwed up? Whatever God or government industry. Going back to original topic a bit. How do you suppose such a tiny group of people gain an ungodly level of power and influence over so many people? I can't really go on discussing this with you, Mr. Madison. Don't get, don't, doesn't have to be Zionist. Neither could easily be Christian or non-Christian land, immigrant, any group of minorities who refuse to recognize that they are a minority, refuse to integrate into society, and that generally accept them, lets them be who they are. Instead, they're insular and they keep themselves walled up from everyone not like them. They devote their entire lives to the tribe or tribe. They think they're being persecuted and act accordingly. There's nothing wrong with borrowing from them, adopting their my tribe mentality for the majority. Right now, Mr. Madison, you and others like you are not the majority. You've all suffered significant brain damage from whatever this affliction was, and it's over now. Sure, of course it is. Thank you for your time, Mr. Madison. Whatever. Note, despite the allegations of Mr. Madison, it is very unlikely any of his ideological rhetoric played a role in either triggering or exacerbating the outbreaks of violence among the afflicted individuals, Mr. Madison, retention re of his pre-existing prejudices may be purely incidental along
has affected the along the effects of SEC 299. Note, based on the subject's responses and questions, a working theory has emerged that SEC 2299 may not have intended as a destructive anomalous effect, but a misengineered or applied for human psychology. So, what do you think of this possibly racist SVP? Well, I, I don't think it was purely, it may be purely incidental alongside the phase of 2299. Which means it probably enhanced it instead of... But yeah. Damn, that guy was so racist, he literally had an expletive redacted. I don't want to know what word that was. <laughs> right. Oh, bookworm said not just racist, but fascist. That's so, point. so it, if this is given to uh, the very back and center of the group, uh, we'll be in shitfire. <laughs> so, when you're infected, it brings out the worst of you. Yeah, I made a joke earlier, but I don't think Bookram saw it. And I said, and this kids is how the Nazis really formed Because <laughs> oh. I didn't see this at the bottom, so obviously it's not. Oh, I thought before that the brain got damaged so bad they became Nazis rest in peace. <laughs> I, oh. I made a really bad joke. Yeah. <laughs> but anyways... Um, so yeah, this SCP is rather dangerous and makes big sense the Red Hand deals with it, but I don't, I would probably say, since it went to multiple cities, it would probably be more on the like country scale. I wouldn't say yeah, higher. Country scale, scale, the fact that they can only maintain they could only uh, lock it down to one city and not like a few people tells me that it is fucking large, it spreads fast, it's impossible to contain anywhere smaller than a city. Yeah. Alright, so next one apparently is a very rusted sword. And we barely go with the numbers. It's 2301. 2301? Yeah, do you want... Since I did two, do you want to read the next one? Or... Sure. I hope this one is less... Uh, has less Wait. Support. Oh my gosh, I think this is one of the content farm SCPs. <laughs> it is! <laughs> It's one of the content for recipes you weren't a part of. It, oh. Yeah. It's a Slayer song. It's one where they did Elden Ring when it has nothing to do with Elden Ring. Oh. Is it okay if I read it? or? Do you yeah. You can. Oh. Because I already read it. Yes. <laughs> this is funny, though. This is funny, though. SCP-2301, Object Class Cheater, like everything else here. Special containment <coughs> procedures. Provisional containment zone Delta-3 has been constructed surrounding SCP-2301's manifestation area. <coughs> you okay, Spoon? Can you read this? I think I'd, I'd rather uh, ask Spoon if they're okay and try to get Yeah, I can do that. Alright. Item SCP-2301. Object Class Keter. Special Containment Procedures. Professional Containment Zone Delta-3 has been constructed surrounding 2301's manifestation area. At any given time, no fewer than 
then two containment teams, designated Alpha and Beta, must be present, with a third relief team on active standby. Alpha team is to be equipped with period-accurate 15th century Japanese lamellar armor and a full set of period-accurate weapons commonly used by the samurai class of feudal Japan. In addition, each containment team member is to receive extensive training in traditional kabuki acting along with classes in basic Japanese mythology and Shintoism. Uh, we did, a uh, continent. No, not continent. Country. Yeah, con country. Sorry, not continent. Country. My bad. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Anyways. Beta team is to be equipped with period-accurate 15th century gothic plate armor and a full set of period-accurate weapons commonly used by the Knights of Feudal Germany. In addition, each containment team member is to receive extensive training in your... PN theater arts, along with classes in medieval texts concerning dragons. During a manifestation event, all personnel must remain in character at all times. Once 2301 is terminated, all personnel must remain in character until all components of 2301 have decayed. Should 2301 manifest in a different form, the standby team will be, will be mobilized to determine the method in which 2301 should be confronted. The class personnel will be used to distract 2301 from approaching a population center until a solution can be found. Description 2301 is a hostile metamorphic entity that manifests in redacted, redacted every month and takes the form of various antagonists from different fables, plays, and or legends, notably that of Japanese and European origin. 2301 cannot be damaged unless it perceives its attackers to correctly be those that would defeat such a character in a legend or play in which it would be found. Therefore, 2301 manifests a European-style dragon. It can only be harmed by those that it perceives to be medieval knights. This also applies to contain 2301. In the modern containment procedures such as reinforced Keter class hostile anomaly chambers, can be easily destroyed or bypassed by 2301. 2301 can also also give enough time to destroy period accurate containment such as chains or cages. Twenty three oh one will remain in character as a particular antagonist that it has manifested for duration of an event. Uh, it is critical that personnel remain in character and exchange in dialogue with twenty three oh one. While in combat with the entity due to the fact that 2301 will not accept individuals that it perceives as not playing the role to its satisfaction. Once 2301 determines an individual to be insufficiently in character, said individual will be unable to harm 2301 for the duration of the manifestation event. A manifestation event ends when 2301 has been sufficiently damaged due to, to the point at which no, it can no longer function, causing 2301's body to rapidly decompose. Should one of the individuals that participated in terminating 2301 fail to remain in character until the body has fully decomposed, 2301 will re-manifest. After containment personnel have reported that 2301 is incredibly durable and lethal, 2301 possesses all the capabilities of the character that it chooses to represent in a particular manifestation event and similarly poses the same weaknesses. SCP-2301 originally manifested only as a character from Japanese folklore, however, beginning on a date of Redacted, 2301 began to manifest from creatures from ne ne medieval European mythology currently, 2301 limits is replicating characters from other cultures is unknown. 2301 most commonly manifests as Japanese Oni, a type of demon that wields a kanabo in combat. Said creature is noted as incredibly strong in various myths and legends and is also described as a humanoid entity posing, possessing horns, claws, and blue or red skin coloration. 2301 is roughly 2 meters in height in this form and has been demonstrated as strong enough to fully fully collapse a human chest protected by a of armor with his kanabo. 2301 second most commonly manifests as a European dragon in this form. 
2301 possesses two winged forelimbs with a wingspan of 25 meters and two clawed hind limbs. 2301 is roughly 7 meters tall in this form and is capable of producing fire in excess of 1000 degrees Celsius from within its throat through as an as of yet unknown mechanism. 2301's purpose during a manifestation event is currently understood to be complete an amenity towards all human life. 2301 is demonstrated to immediately attempt to navigate towards the largest population center available and will attempt to kill any human that it encounters. Despite this, 2301 possesses a superb grasp of human culture, specifically Germanic and Japanese history, languages, literature, and mythology. 2301's origin or method of acquiring this information is currently unknown. And that's it. I believe I was here the first time. I just forgot because it's been a while. Yeah. Yeah, and the main reason I was bothered by it was that they used the um uh Celtic mythology, I think it's what it was Irish folklore for their creatures cuz that's what Elden Ring is based off. It's based off Celtic. Yeah, but this is German and Japanese. It's not Irish in any way. Yeah. So it does get dangerous if the MTF fuck up. Yeah, I think at most it's certain people since yeah. it only pops up in certain areas. It's certain group, yeah. Yeah. 